so a lot is happening a lot is happening on this very dark black man bob Brisky, and um, efcc the nigerian correctional center or service ncos um, is that ncos and um that's the nigerian correctional um service and we have femi falano senior advocate of nigeria and his son files the bad guy bob daddy bob daddy there is a story about the bob daddy song and um, the puff daddy of the u.s and bob risky bob risky yes idris okuneye crossdresser slash secret allegedly lgbtq da 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 now an audio got leaked and this audio has gone viral i'm sure you must have heard it i played and we talked about it on this platform but there is a new update because it seems a very dark black man according to them he has crossed the line and he must be dealt with he must be dealt with he must be finished i want you guys to pay attention to this one from the beginning to the end it's going to be a roller coaster journey and um, what you're about to hear will shock you he said you know because also this very dark man fellow has he's always you know um notoriously saying things sometimes true sometimes not so i was like i think people know this guy is notorious i don't think anybody's really going to believe it all right um first of all for our sister um we have already said we are going to court but this one we say you don't they go on podcast they call me names they chase clouds the first time for your write-up you call me ridiculous fellow now you don't they call me notorious you understand where that man is notorious first of all before i even talk go far who are you in everything you understand and secondly sir before you downplay me you understand without your father who are you without your father i don't even remember your name that's why i call you foul sister i don't know who you be without this thing i didn't even know your father had a daughter before this so when you they call me ridiculous they call me a uh, notorious you better watch your mouth we already said we are going to court we already said we are going to court. Let's go to court. Why are you going everywhere? You they claim say cloud chaser, and now you they go use my name till they chase clouds. Do you understand? Madam, don't act as if very dark man woke up in the morning and just call names. You understand? Now the name went there for audio now I call. Now the name went the audio I call. I should not don't decide say okay, we don't want to leave who call on a name. For inside where they commit atrocities and when I won't come for me where be soft spot. No Allah. I ain't got no problem with that, fam. Do you understand? If they talk, everybody, they talk, hey, this is, uh, no, see, hey, now law will not be. Now law will not be, will not be God. I don't talk and be fast. I say, if it take six months, you won't want me past six months. You know, go past like that, make like they shake. I'm an Edo man. I will not shake for you now. If they come, they talk. If they leave me and you for a certain court, I go even win you. Because you don't even feel, you don't even savvy talk. I don't want to insult you. But don't call me names. He's a ridiculous fellow. Now you don't add notorious on top. You should go and check the meaning of these words. Go and check the meaning of these words. If your people, your people can represent themselves, which one be all this way they go jump up and down, they do. You don't see opportunity. The daughter that nobody ever knew existed. Mm -hmm. If not so, they tell they jump, 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 jump. When your guy man tells him, Mr. Yakubu, Emma should be frosted. You know, talk that one saying refer to the man as Froster. Hmm? You know, talk that one. This why they call him now. When Nobi Mew originates the name, now a problem. <laughs> After what he has done for Nigeria, what has he done? You understand? What has he done? I can bring out everything I've done. NSAS. I went for NSAS. They nearly caught me. Do you understand? I fight. I stand for front of that beggar bridge like this. I fight. When those boys come break, break people car glass. I jump down. You understand? I do one because I be patriotic six season. Nobody because of anybody know me. Do you understand? You open your mouth, they talk to me. They call me ridiculous and notorious. Don't let me curse you. But this is just the final and last warning. If you go on any podcast, just leave my name. If you want to talk about me, talk about me. Don't add names to it. Notorious, ridiculous. Stop it. Uh, fast sister, like I said, I don't know your name and I don't ever want to know your name. If you get personal beef with it, it's obvious. If like I said, I don't call out one of your friends before where they do bad thing. 
Is it possible now? I don't call out. Maybe I don't call out one of your friends where where collect person money before he pay you because all of now the big phone I get for me be that. But now we people want to be able to do things and nobody will talk. Well, as this um, issue is ongoing, um, it seems certain activists have teamed up against very dark black man. These are loyalists to Femi Falano. Of course, they have to be loyal to Femi Falano. Many of them um, adore or let's say idolize um, Femi Falano. They believe that these are some of the fathers of activism and should any of them fall into the trap of the federal government of nigeria they are femi falano who will set them free pro bono meaning without being um, paid so aisha yesufu wrote this in the last few days i have been aghast at the thinking of so many many think they own you when you speak against injustice or stand for someone if the falanos let this go unchallenged the same people will say that they are guilty of what they are accused of. Now they are taking it up. They say it is oppression. The same person did say they should clear their names. And that is exactly what they are doing. The corruption and not Falana's taking on the formation case. Have you ever heard of multitasking? Both can, do, can be done. If the guy in the video has evidence to the accusations, then it goes to court. Otherwise, tender the apologies and let everyone move on. Because many do not care about their reputation. They feel others should do not You want to tarnish a family's hard end name and you think they should let it go? What nonsense is that? The corruption case can go end in hand. Now, um, the federal government has uh, decided to step into this and you'll be listening to um, the update on it and this issue must not go without being dealt with we cannot uh, accept or allow this anymore i sort of agree with aisha yesufu here the falanos need to clear their names they will not allow themselves to be dragged into this just like that obviously if they are innocent of the so-called uh, voice note allegation and all of that a very dark black man well he has to also do what he has to do but people are saying that the falano should be careful they should not drag very dark man to court i mean social media now the minister of interior has this to say he issued warning on this bobriski and many other um, atrocities that might be committed on the ground um, that has to do with institutions that are supposed to maintain the rule of law, institutions that are supposed to be enforcement. Talk about bribes, talk about VIP section, talk about all of that. It is not something that is new. Yeah, but are we going to keep our mouth shut and do nothing about this and live our lives like business as usual? No, no, no. Let us listen to him and we'll talk more. One thing you can be sure of, you can be sure about, be sure of this. And I swear to God Almighty, we will not shield anybody, no matter who the person is. The reason why we took that decision yesterday is that the in charge, who is a high senior officer, is a deputy controller. That is a senior officer. Forever or whatever, he first of all thinks, why we investigate so that there is no way anybody can tamper. And when you look at the team that we set up to investigate, you will see there is a mixture of civil society and public servants. Same man now, now you the now you the address as Uncle Femi Falano. All right, so um, first of all, I did not defame Uncle Femi Falano. Oh, so from Femi Falano will be your mate before he don't turn your uncle now. <laughs> Even that uncle said for your bala and I still disrespect. For your bala, we know we know they call person supposed to be your papa. You know they call her uncle. Daddy is different from uncle. You know that that man fit born you how many times over? I think say I they talk too much. And, oh, do you want to get out? You are the one spoiling the country. See as the very very dark man. You don't you don't beg. You don't humble. <laughs> you think say now be kubana eh, polo yabo lo don't know the way leave you. This is what he does for. This is what he is known for. This is what now what did they call him for this? Now, where did they come this life? When Mr. Falano is saying they come this life, now what do God destined them to do? 
Now, what is your destiny now? Your DNA. Say, go fight cases, look for trouble, win. Now you want fight. Now you want fight with. <laughs> I want to see the rat. They use less rat people. I want to see them. <laughs> when would they talk? It will be like say, oh, I, 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 I did talk him. I did talk him. Nothing concern. You have to. Hey, you say your teeth strong. You want use teeth? Take, take, take two, take two diamond. Come on now. Come on. There are some people that even not. Let's even leave the fact that he is he is. Is SAN. Let's leave that one. Where, where's our respect? You can't see that kind of elderly man. Where don't they where they look 70 like this? They disrespect him. Come on now. Come on. Bro. Bro, what's happening now? What did they happen? You want to better the country. You know, you not change your family. You could disrespect uh, Mr. Oh, oh. This one. I just say you know they I just say no they beg now. I tell you, you say this one na na protest. You say you no know, collect money. Of course, you collect money, but I not be like you. We come out, they talk evidence. They they, they scatter the whole country. I not be like that. You say now nah, those ones. You say you say this man and that. Come on now, and I see some ignorant people coming to support this. Una, we no get. You, you don't have a. Oh, come on, come and say hey, let's see, let's see. Na, fala, no, na, are you not supposed to even use your sense? If if you're a reasonable person, you're not supposed to know. They don't even need to tell you. Say Bobiski they lie for that this thing. See, Mr. Fala no say na na infan. I don't understand. That one a social media person. Is he a so in na 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 infan? He has always been in na infan. Can't to let them in. Oh no! Hey, hey! If we decrease, no, nowhere we decrease. Go. What kind of nonsense with that one? What's happening? Okay. Uh, Paulo, leave you. Uh, Obi Kumara, leave you. Uh, Yabo, don't... We have um, the Fala no family. That's the senior advocate of Nigeria, Femi Fala no family, reacting concerning the issue of the famation. What do you make of this vis-a-vis -vis, uh, this issue of alleged corruption? The the claims, the assertions, innuendos, and allegations thrown at the Falana for the Falanas. Uh, by a very dark man. It's indeed a very dark allegation. Uh, and I say that very objectively. Because if you look at, if you listen to what he said, not only did he didn't just stop at posting the supposed audio, he did not stop at that. He proceeded to make his own statement, to make personal accusations against the the very learned senior advocate of Nigeria, Mr. Femi Falano. And what exactly is the allegation against the learned Siuk and the son? If you listen to the audio, because I, I don't know whether, like I have stated on social media, what he did was just to release this audio in part. I would have thought that he would release it in full and not in piecemeal. Because if it is on the basis of the audio that he himself released, and you listen to the voice in that audio, said to be that of Mr. Idris Okuneye, Mr. Bob Risky, there is no way in that audio where he said explicitly that Mr. Femi Falano demanded 30 million to enable him procure a presidential pardon for Mr. Idris. That point was not made explicitly. It is very dark man who now on his own went ahead to voice out this claim and made that insinuation. He proceeded to say he has lost respect for him that someone who defended Fela should not behave in this manner and was even, he basically defamed the man. And after he had made that video, all you simply need to do, go and check the comment trail. Go and check the comment trail. Listen, read the comments that people have made. And you will see that people have clearly, some persons have lost respect for this family on the basis of this allegation that he made. And if I, for personally, I feel that that part of it, it's unfair, it's unnecessary for this moment, the, for the clear reason that there is nothing either in the audio itself or outside the audio to warrant this allegation that he has made against Mr. Femi Falano. Regarding Fal, regarding Fal, Mr. Fulari, this claim that Fal procured Mr. Idris' stay outside the prison. Uh, again, that is also questionable because father has come out see, that Idris called him. He was not the one who called Idris. In the first place, every custodial center in Nigeria, I don't know if many Nigerians are aware, mm. every custodial center in Nigeria have what, what uh, they call a call center. 
Are there call center inmates that are allowed to initiate call? Just a, just so a moment, Mr. Ifeon. Let's get this clear. So, I, I, just a moment, just a moment, please. Are you saying that uh, the interpretation given by the very dark man is the defamation, not the audio itself? Is that what you're saying? No, because people have said that why is the Falana family writing to very dark man and not to Idris? And the answer is simple. It is the person who posted, the person who published, the person who brought this audio to the public that has the primary responsibility under the law to account for it. I, as a person, as a Nigerian, as a lawyer, as an activist, I am interested in whether this claim he has made are true or not. But beyond the audio itself, he, on his own, made utterances, utterances that are clearly libelous. No defense about it. You cannot, because it, what is the defense? If you say... If you are going to claim justification, that means you are saying that what you publish is true. In any event, the onus of proof is on you. If you are going to claim fake comment, now, you didn't stop at putting out that supposed audio. You went ahead to also make personal comments, right, to ruin the reputation, trying to ruin the reputation of a man that has put in his life over decades, fighting for Nigeria. And let's even assume for argument's sake, let's assume for argument's sake, that Bobrisky actually sought the help or the services of Mr. Palana to make an application for him for pardon. That is not a crime. That is not a crime. Bobrisky was not charged for corruption to begin with. He was charged for spraying the Naira. And some people believe that that had more to do with his personal life. Right? Because he was targeted in some sense. This wrong practice of throwing the currency, a lot of Nigerians, a lot of celebrities have been doing this. So he was basically scapegoated, maybe to send a message to other people. But many people believe that he had more to do with his lifestyle. So he be believed that he was that he merited a pardon, and he wanted a lawyer of that standing to help him write an application or a request to the president for a presidential pardon. What is wrong, really, with that? Because anybody can apply for pardon. Any lawyer can write an application for pardon. It is entirely a matter of presidential discretion. It is left for the president to determine whether to write, grant it or not. But to pay for a pardon or to bribe officials for pardon, that is wrong. That is condemnable. But if you are going to come out to insinuate that a lawyer or anyone for that matter attempted to procure pardon through corrupt means, that is a different matter. And I'm saying that that is an allegation that should not be made, particularly against a lawyer who on record has applied for pardon for many Nigerians for free, you should have facts to substantiate it. And he said it in a way that was very personal. He even said he has lost respect for the man. Crazy things are happening. In my few years of knowing the law, I've seen a lot, but I've never seen someone who's supposed to be remanded in prison being kept in an apartment. This is incredible and it has no place under our Nigerian laws. If this is really true, then Nigeria is moving in a really sad circle. It's no news that all these are crimes in Nigeria. Firstly, a person can be a judge in his own matter. When fraudulent allegations and corruption is levied against an institution, the right thing to do is to put the officials of that institution on hold and set up another committee to review their action. Owing to the fact that their integrity is in question. We have other bodies like the ICPC who has a duty in Section 5 to examine and investigate corruption in public bodies. So the federal government government has suspended some officials of the NCS and the National Assembly has passed a resolution to investigate into this matter. Now that's a good start. Also section 819 of the ICPC Act provides that anybody who gives or receives any money or favor in the shadow of their official duty whether for a good or bad purpose is guilty of official corruption and liable to imprisonment for seven years. We have so many laws against bribery and corruption but never for one day have they been put into practice. The Code of Conduct Bureau Act provides for vacation of office disqualification of the public officers for 10 years, five to seven years imprisonment if they are found guilty which they may still serve as an apartment. I mean I heard he was put in a special place because of his bodily futures but where is that under a Nigerian law, either you're a man or you're a woman. So you choose. We're not going to forge new laws to suit our situations. Finally, the EFCC has no right to drop charges just like that because the crime is not committed against the EFCC, it's committed against the state. So only the court has the right to determine whether wrong has been done to the state or not, not EFCC, especially for a fee. But let's all be mindful that everything is a mere allegation until it has been proven by... What is the most fundamental uh, issue at play here? Is it a case of defamation or, or what exactly? The issue of bribery and all, all of that? I think it's a case of national self-deception, where a minister will pretend that he didn't know that this has been the Going description of, our, of the situation in Nigeria, correction, uh, co correctional centers, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Nigerian prisons. How, I mean, or does he think that uh, it is by swearing to God that uh, people will believe him? 
Nigerians believe that big men, whenever they are sentenced, don't mm. go to prison. And that they have special uh, treatments. You know, apart, two things, two, two major uh, uh, pointers to this. Right. Apart from the investigative journalist, uh, journalistic work of uh, Fisai or Suwambo, who actually, I, mean, I think it should be an international and national award winning mm -hmm. journalist. For that kind of, you know, undercover, uh, you, you know, investigative journalism he did by pretending to be a criminal who was arrested mm. and then you went to prison and then they, 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 they by exposing, you know, documenting and exposing the horrendous state of our criminal justice system yeah. and we pretended that it didn't exist and mm. that was in 2019 to the date we didn't do anything and then we have a minister who wants to say that it is now he wants to wake up because a very dark man, you know, somebody doing one kind of skit or one kind of revelation to get, uh, you, you, you know, some yeah. kind of followership and traction. He's not the one revealing the things that would now carry, make us as a country to not do what we call national prison reforms. We are a bunch of jokers. And the minister should, 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 should wake up. If the minister had suspended the, 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 the Comptroller General of the Nigerian Correctional mm -hmm. Service, we would know that he's serious. Because if the minister didn't suspend the, 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 the Comptroller General, then the president should suspend the minister. Because it's a national scandal. Because we have yeah, always... The, box that the, 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 next, the next thing, Kemi Adetiba, in her, in her movie, uh, The King of Boys. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, expressly mm -hmm. showed Nigerians what happened in Nigerian prisons. Mm -hmm. We had right. one Superman who was said to be sentenced, but he was in prison. And you saw the colors. The colors represented some form of national color. Why he go. came here, a uh, king of boys. And that guy was controlling things, committing crime, and then actually putting the prison. Look, what you said that just... people are going to go back and watch Kemi uh, king of boys. But let's look at this issue seriously. So in this Bobriski situation, it's not the first time that's it, happened. No, is it's that a what it normal is? thing. But first, there, let's let's agree. There, first of all, it's a normal there, thing. And the instances. minister should first of all acknowledge on, that hold on, it's normal. Hold on. On the morning show today, we had you know two experts, uh, you know, trying to make a case for the need uh, to have certain categories for persons of interest in a situation where you want to secure their personal, you know, uh, safety and the security of the prison facility itself. Are there instances, in look, the case look, of this celebrity, have, we, where we, this may be acceptable? We have the Nigerian Correctional Services Act of 19, 2019 mm. that makes provision for such uh, situations. Now, people who should be protected should be given some kind of special protection. Mm. Should be persons probably suffering from mental health problems. And then women. Now, apart from that, all other inmates are supposed to be equal. Now, where, you, I, have, where get... you have, hold on, where you have a man who is a cross-dresser who has presented himself as a woman over the years and he's come to be accepted as a woman is even referred to as a she do you this. put him in a prison where or you know holding facility where men when bob risky idris okunaya was taken to the correctional service center the first thing to do was to determine his sexuality right. and they stripped him and checked him. His right? gender. Uh, his gender, I would say. Right. <laughs> Thank Not you his for sexuality. That. <laughs> and then he was checked, right? Yeah. Now, the problem is this. is the solicitation for bribe in order to be given some kind of VIP treatment, which is the normal process that we experience. I've seen a, 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 an officer of the National Correctional Service Center being beaten up by a, uh, you know, the, an officer of the DSS mm -hmm. in the court. The reason he was doing that is because the the, the Nigerian Correctional Service officer was very excited when a VIP was being sentenced. So he was racing to go and get him. The idea is that they know among themselves that, look, it is a big fish. Mm -hmm. You know, when you, get, when you get a VIP, when you get a celebrity like Bobriski coming to prison or whatever, and then you negotiate how to give it, 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 it some kind of treatment. The problem here is that there is a VIP treatment that was outside the Correctional Service Center. center. Mm -hmm. And again, it reminds me, recently there was a cooperative uh, the Nigerian Correctional Service Cooperative was announcing one big achievement by build that is they build a luxury hotel somewhere close around to the airport road, which is somewhere also where the head office of the Nigerian Correctional Service is. Right. For goodness sake. So because they've seen that it's a very lucrative business taking care of VIP, you know, prisoners. So they do, make, they do make provision for certain 
The, no, 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 not at all. There is no, there is, you see, there is a level of equality. But again, I agree there is some measure of discretion mm -hmm. on the part of the person who is managing the prison as to give certain protection to people. Who are those persons to be protected? Are those persons, do you ask the person to pay 15 million naira so that they can get special protection? Allegedly. And then, oh, Allegedly. For, for goodness sake, mm -hmm. that is what has triggered this investigation. Now, let's look people at the have, issue of people, defamation people, because we don't have that much time. The issue of defamation, when a person in a conversation that they believe is a private conversation that they're having with another person, right? It's a, let's, let's say this is a private conversation we're having. And another person now publishes this conversation, right? That could be damaging somewhat. Who really should be liable in terms of See, defamation? Look, and there what is happened? a defense to defamation. But what right. is important here mm. is the job of a whistleblower that the fellow, the very dark man, uh, Martins, did. Oh, so first of all, let's uh, let's agree, let's acknowledge that. You know, the unfortunate part of it is that he could have, he didn't have to mention the name of Femi Fallon, for goodness sake. Right. When he could not verify that. And the way he mentioned it, by saying that uh, a lawyer that he once respected, a lawyer to Fela and all the kind, that was damaging and that was unnecessary mm. because he didn't have the proof at that time. But what if, what he, if his intention was correctional in the sense that he wanted to expose the, 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 the dark side of Nigerian prison, the very things that Fisayo had said many years ago, since 2019. I mean, indicating that Nigerian Correctional Services a huge joke. I mean, imagine the so fact there are that unintended consequences. In it is the not. Look, you don't call that unintended. I think right. that that is not fair. And to consider that there is an aspect of uh, defamation that is criminal, mm. I think that uh, the, the, the Martins should actually answer for, to that. He could have simply said a certain prominent lawyer and not make unfortunate and unfounded allegations, especially when the, the, uh, Mr. Femi Falana SN has now said he has never had a such kind of a conversation. And you need to know the personality of the uh, Fallon, uh, Fallon that we're talking about. Mm. For goodness sake, how much is involved? And been, then you need to also look at the fact that you are talking about uh, 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 prerogative of mercy. Do you think it just happens because a lawyer applies? You mm. don't, you don't, you forget that there's a committee that is set up that makes a recommendation to either the governor or the president. So this right. whole joke, but it's wrong. And mm. again, come back, and I don't want to forget about this. Mm -hmm. Under the administration of this uh, Comptroller General, between 2021 and 2024, we've had not less than eight prison breaks. And with 4,000 inmates, most of them who are Boko Haram terrorists, and they're fle fle fleeing, escaping. So we have this kind of inefficiency in treating our inmates, and something fundamental needs to be done. So the what, minister what, needs to go beyond this, this idea this? of suspending some, some two persons who are just carrying out a norm in the Nigerian Correctional Service, and then go and go more fundamental about it, if we are not joking as what a country. What are these fundamental reforms that need to be in place, put in First place of all, to fix our look, look, we, keep, we keep telling ourselves that we have some of the best laws, and indeed it is true. Run mm. the correctional service according to the book. We have custodial services, uh, custodial, uh, you know, uh, services, sentencing, and non-custodial services that, that can be rendered by the correctional service. Mm. For goodness sake, we're talking about somebody who was supposed to be spraying money, who was supposed to be abusing Naira, yeah. and you, we thought that the best thing that we could do as a way of correcting it was to send him to prison for six months, whereas other persons did not got lighter sentences or they were even slapped in the wrist mm. forgetting that somebody advised that person that please go and plead that you're you're guilty so that you can get this not knowing that the man was being set up for goodness sake right. if Bobriski were to have gold counsel right now he's a victim of the corrupt and inefficient uh, criminal justice system of this country mm. and he should sue the federal government you didn't hear the super for defamation of character for seriously i don't expect anything from you i'll be waiting the vessel because very dark man relate your song in relation of your song to Say, uh, maybe the reason why I sing this kind of song is like, because you follow the league Bobby Riskin Yash. I mean, that's in the verse. Everybody knows saying the league Bobby Riskin Yash. Everybody knows saying they do man to man. You like woman, where will you be humanizer? If they even look at eye, they go no say you are woman. They use woman swear for you when you smile, you understand? You know, if you do that kind of thing, you'll be person be saying Nigerian stories. That's the bad guy, seriously. I, I bet go come out of the Go, go, go close that court case so that this thing now, nah, very dark man go feed the color that people never waiting for that tape, you understand? Why would I decide to court now? But seriously, first the bad guy, notice how they do this video to attack your support very dark man. I just want to tell you the truth. I need to support very dark man, you understand? And I see say when in UK, when very dark man. 
and come, you can be one of those people go to chat and they say, ah, bro, Safa, I don't you can want to see, I don't leave my work, go to see very dark man, very dark man, a jobless person. I mean, where get work, I don't leave my work, go to see jobless person. I don't come this life country for my own, I to talk the truth. I don't see what you need to do, where they wrong, you understand? It's supposed to be appreciated for exposing this thing. Saying expose, you know how many people be say, but risky, don't go, go, go down, they spoil your papa, them, they don't say, eh, you pay your papa, a whole falana, a whole falana. They spoil the man reputation. It's supposed, it's supposed to be a video, thank you for exposing this, you understand? Seriously, fast, make gonna think about this, I'll be waiting at the talk, no make sense. I'm a seriously, fast, the bad guy, see, see, I don't, I don't write all the names of all the people very dark man saying go call for that record, you understand? And they went to make him call the remaining maker that time he called the song to cut a bag. I dedicate this song to you so that your mind go cool down. Calm down, calm down, Dr. Fast. This song nana for you, you understand? Ijoba oron, bele wo mi bagbo ho, ma je hum, baba se, be mi yo lo shi, ah, Oh, Timoni, where am I? Oh, Bagbo, my dear, Baba se, be mi o loji, Baba. Welcome back. That was a comedic relief on a lighter note. Um, I think I want to go more or tilt to what the journalist said. Um, he broke it down. The guest on that um, um TV platform. He, he broke it down as it should be broken down. There are three issues to be dealt with. The system and uh, Bob Risky and also um, Mr. Very Dark Black Man. He went too far and I think he is also learning every day. There are certain statements you don't make and if you are to make such statements, you have to guard yourself. Um, you should not just pride yourself of... Uh, Talking and going to court and um, do not feel too proud or full of yourself that a certain pastor had uh, retracted his uh, lawsuit uh, because you stood your ground and you are ready. There are times that your lawyer um, might not advise you appropriately and you yourself, you might be overwhelmed or you might be over... Um, how do I put it? You might be too courageous. You might want to... You, you, you might... Uh, be too bold you might be too forward and um, when issues like this come up you will have um, yourself to blame a bit but then um, you cannot all be perfect yes you cannot all be perfect we cannot all be perfect i'm talking about activists now you it's not possible for you all to be perfect it's not possible for uh, anybody any human being even a blogger or, whatever it's not possible for us all to be perfect there are times that we slip out of that emotional you know turmoil out of that anger out of the pressure to speak and you run with whatever it is that you have first very dark black man he got this audio and he went with it not looking at certain factors that uh, might be playing on the ground meaning uh, let me break it down. Bobrisky might just be whining, as they often say. Bobrisky might be pulling the legs of the other dude or trying to scam the other dude or trying to hype himself about certain things. That does not mean that all that Bobrisky said are all lies and neither does it mean that all that Bobrisky said are, are the truth, are the complete truth or the picture of all that possibly might have happened or possibly happened or might have happened. So, uh, as it is right now, uh, we will have a very dark man in court, definitely. The Falanos are not going to allow this slide. There are two things. One, presidential pardon. If he said he has never ever had anything or met or spoken to Bob Risky, so the part of presidential pardon is out of the equation. How is presidential pardon gotten? The guest on that TV show already highlighted how it's gotten, but that does not mean that is the only way it can be gotten. We are all Nigerians. We know what and what goes on behind the scene. And in fact, all over the world, there are certain things that go on here and there. And this uh, audio leak and let's call it whistleblower, which is not what it is in this case, but let us say this expose exposure leaking a part of what is required in our society to tilt us in the right direction so the case of did bobriski and mr falano meet or have a conversation or 
did Faust, the bad guy, Folari, connect with Bobrisky and then relate or relay everything to his own father? There is a possibility. There is a possibility that they had worked behind the scene on behalf of Bobrisky without showing themselves. And it could be possible that there was no other conversation with Bobrisky and Folari, which is far as the bad guy, after the first conversation they had, where he had advised Bobrisky not to bribe anybody, that they can go to court on this matter. According to him, Bobrisky had requested for 3 million naira to help him position himself in what they call the VIP section in the correctional center in prison. And Folari, very, uh, is he far as a bad guy? That's uh, Femi Falano's son, who is also a lawyer. Falari is a lawyer. Faz is a lawyer. He, he had advised Bobrisky, according to the disclaimer that he issued, that there is no need. You don't need to pay this three million. I have no three million to give to nobody. You don't need to pay any three million. We will work on this if you need legal advice or suggestion. And uh, he said that Bobrisky, Idris Okunaye, had then uh, told him that his lawyer had botched his case by asking him to plead guilty in court. Now, if you juxtapose this or put this side by side to that of a uh, Kubana chief priest, who was also charged for the same, Kubana chief priest did not plead guilty. And he's all over the place, probably to go to court later, I don't know, but... He's enjoying his freedom. He didn't plead guilty and eventually end up in court, in prison, sorry, or the correctional center. But from what we are hearing, Bobrisky never spent time in prison. It is now left for the correctional center to show proof that Bobrisky spent time in prison and Bobrisky had saved time. But I'm kind of thinking that Bobrisky did not really spend time in prison due to the video picture evidence that the guy that leaked this from the United States presented. There is a lot to be dealt with on this matter. I don't know what you guys think of this. It is getting serious, very much serious, very, very serious. We need to put things right. We need to um, reposition our society in the right direction. Because if we don't reposition our society in the right direction, we'll be wasting our time. We'll be wasting our time. So the issue of um, VIP and all of that is not something that is uh, new. It has always existed. Why? Because the discretion, it is at the discretion of the prison warder, the chief prison warder, whatever title they are called, to determine which prisoner should be given certain level of security. That's why they have the VIP section, which is supposed to be a an excluded part of the prison where there is less interaction with other inmates. That is what it is supposed to be. But if they now have air conditioning, if they now have uh, certain services and women are brought to them, then those are excesses. Those are not supposed to be. I want to believe that the, um, the rules of the prisons uh, are all laid out clearly. But um, at times, we know that these prison warders, they can, you know, do some side them um, also, let's put it that way, which is criminal, which is, uh, which is not supposed to be. They, they, they could. And then this sort of brings to light uh, this uh, going to prison or being jailed for crimes. And at the end of the day, Bobrisky could uh, be kept in a flat somewhere close because he said he had called his godfather. Um, till today, we don't know who the godfather is. We are just hearing that uh, Bobrisky did not spend time in prison. Bobrisky did not do this. Bobrisky did not do that. We are not too sure. We don't even know. We don't know what and what it is. Um, but I want to believe that we'll keep on on this matter. If very dark black man is going to court, it's okay. It's okay um, because of certain expression. I think he will learn his lessons. Like I said, there are certain things that he will not say in a certain way. If very dark man had said, after playing the audio, if he had said, 
I am quoting what Bob Risky said in this audio. He claimed that if he had presented it that way, without casting as passion or without uh, innuendos or without uh, trying to make it personal, I do understand that uh, most of this <laughs> might be personal, but without him saying, Femi Falano, I have lost respect for you, it means that he is concluding, and that is the part that uh, lawyers will look into. Like, wait, you have concluded, it means you are defaming. You have uh, cast aspersion, you have uh, created these uh, innuendos, and um, you have um, made it appear as if it is true. Rather than you waiting for an investigation, that you heard an audio recording where someone had named certain persons in the conversation with another person does not mean that that individual is saying the truth. This is a lesson to everybody that you heard an audio recording and certain things are being said to another person. It does not mean that the person talking is saying the truth. It could be an audio recording, it could be a, a voice call, it could be anything. Anyone can make up anything. Anyone can make up anything. That's the truth of it. So very dark man is also learning. We're all learning. Um, how to tread softly, how to tread with care and caution, uh, how to be relevant, how to express yourself, how to position yourself without putting yourself in arm's way. So I, I'm very sure that he, 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 will, he, will, re, he will rearrange uh, and uh, reposition himself. He said he's not going to apologize, which I do not expect him to apologize. If he does, it will further um, reduce or... Um, ridicule. Uh, let me use the word to reduce his influence or the trust that people have. So, if it is the court, it's okay. Um, what I believe the problem was I've asked his lawyer is, look, tell me, what is the, what are the consequences of defamation? I, I mean, in this context. It's not as if he has not experienced it with Yabu uh, Joton uh, to decay, with all their, you know, all of that. He, he, he definitely he has experienced one or two of this. So, how is he going to handle this? That is the issue. The consequences that comes with it. Are they going to say you are going to serve three months in prison? He's going to go in there, come out again. Now, how is he going to prepare? Like, I'm back again. I want to defame someone else. I don't think so.